So here in the contact screen in your Katana platform, you'll have an overview of your customers as well as your suppliers available in both of these tabs. First, let's go ahead and talk about customers. What you see in the screen in front of you is simple information, name, email address, phone number, a comment. And uh, one disclaimer that is very important to take note of is Katana is not designed to be a CRM. So we don't do customer relationship management as a part of the platform. The way Katana is designed to uh, manage customers is whenever a customer that you're working with processes a sales order, after they've paid and created the sales order, then the sales order is imported into the Katana system. And we import the customer name as well because we build an association between the customer and the sales order document that gets created. And that's the main purpose of having uh, customers inside of your uh, Katana account. Now, customers can be brought in in one of two ways. Um, they can either be, oh, sorry, one of three ways, actually. Uh, you, can, you can create them uh, manually in the system, either here by adding the new customer in this top right corner on the contact screen. They can be added as well uh, inside of a sales order, the moment a sales order is generated, when you manually make one, for example, like right here. And um, the other ways that you can get the customer information into Katana is uh, through our native integrations. So if you are connected to e-commerce, let's say through WooCommerce or Shopify, or maybe by the time you see this video, there will be other e-commerce platforms that we natively support. Um, you can actually connect to those and we'll just import all of the customer names and emails anyway uh, to get them into Katana system. And lastly, uh, you can do it via third-party integrations or via our API. So if we don't have a native integration that would connect to any system that you use to generate sales orders, including maybe your own CRM system, then you can actually build out uh, either through a cloud connector such as um, Integromat or Zapier or Cart Rover or Sync Hub, for example. These types of systems will allow you to cloud connect uh, your system natively through their system and then pull in uh, customers that way and also generate sales orders if you don't have that connection either. Or if you require um, some custom development uh, through our open, open API, uh, you have the ability to uh, have a developer build a connection to almost any software that also supports API. So that's pretty much it. Um, a few other areas worth mentioning in here is the uh, new customer card where you can go in and add a few more details that you can't see on the main screen. But first, last name, company name, display name, email, phone, comment, billing address, and default shipping address. So these will be important for, let's say, fulfillment softwares in the future. Uh, billing address for like invoicing. So you have to manage the payment process and the fulfillment process. Those two are critical elements. Uh, we will be expanding on this in the future as those do pertain to the sales order fulfillment uh, cycle. Um, but at the moment, this is what we currently have. And one of the most important things when it comes to uh, customers is uh, email address. So this email address is usually a match condition across different platforms. So it's one of the recommended things to uh, always add to any customer that you bring into the system. Of course, if you don't bring emails into the system, you just make a customer by name. We do have a backup option to search by, uh, search by name when we're doing matching. Now the next part uh, regarding suppliers, uh, today, Supplier, supplier part of Katana is quite basic. Um, there are an extended, there are extended features that we have on our pro pro subscription, which uh, includes multi currency. So in the event that uh, you're buying items in from a supplier, you can actually set a default currency for that supplier. Um, so we will support multi currency, and those types of options will be available on this page. Uh, where you can set those for individual suppliers. And um, and here you just have the name, email address, and comment. Uh, again, very, very basic. But when it comes to suppliers, you can add them through um, your uh, native integration with your accounting software. So since we have accounting softwares with QuickBooks and Xero, 
might have another one as well in the future by the time you watch this video, you'll be able to actually import your suppliers uh, in through that medium and they'll automatically populate here onto this screen. A couple of things to keep an eye out for as we, as we continue to develop the product are things like supplier terms where you can uh, define um, a general lead time per supplier if you're placing orders with them as an example or maybe what is like the uh, the payment terms for paying them for the items that they that they provide including minimum order quantities or even supplier part numbers that might be specific to uh, suppliers in general so there are many different things that happen with the uh, supplier side which Katana is going to be expanding on in the future so definitely recommend keeping an eye out in those when you also need to add a supplier without using integrations and such, uh, anytime you're generating a purchase order, it will ask you the supplier name because it's required to have a supplier name prior to issuing a PO. So what you would do is you would uh, create it directly on the uh, purchase order, um, the new purchase order card, and it will be added directly into here without any issue. So not a whole lot to it. Um, you can easily delete. Uh, contacts in here as you desire for both um, for both the uh, suppliers and customers but um, again it's an it's an area that is got some improvements to come along in the future and uh, that's a general overview of it <laughs>